During World War II, self-propelled artillery became the darling of all major military powers. This heavy weapon, which combines destructive power and mobility, brings a lot of convenience to combat operations. Therefore, it became another armored weapon that gained great development besides tanks. Almost all mature and widely produced tank models have considered the conversion of self-propelled artillery. However, there are occasional exceptions. During World War II, the United States developed the T-88 self-propelled artillery, which was actually converted from the chassis of a tank destroyer. In fact, the T-88 should be classified as an assault gun, similar to the Sturmgeschutz III and the Su-152, mainly used for direct fire and is an armored weapon for immediate combat support of infantry units. On August 31, 1944, the Ordnance Company planned to develop a new type of self-propelled howitzer, probably to replace the M8 self-propelled artillery. The M8 was a type of armored weapon developed by the United States in 1941 using the chassis of the M5 Stuart light tank. Although it did not gain the same fame as the M7 Priest self-propelled artillery, its use was very widespread, providing direct fire support for infantry units. However, the M8 was armed with a 75mm short-barreled howitzer, which was insufficient by the later stages of World War II, as the main guns of medium tanks had already advanced to this level. This plan proposed two major options. One was to use the chassis of the M4 Sherman and complete the conversion by installing a 105mm howitzer, and the other was to use the chassis of the M18 Hellcat tank destroyer and install an improved version of the T12 105mm light howitzer to create the T88 self-propelled howitzer. A total of three prototype vehicles were built for the T88, including two T88 and one T88E1. The T-88 basically retained the chassis of the M-18 with a redesigned turret structure, and the main gun was located on the central axis. However, the gunner's position was on the right side of the gun, and there were 16 main gun shells on the left side of the turret, with an additional 24 spare shells inside the vehicle. To save internal space in the turret and allow for more maneuverability, Designers planned to install the T-55 concentric recoil system on the gun, which also reduced the overall weight. This improvement was the T-88E1. The T-12 main gun was originally developed for the Air Force and was a light ground attack howitzer intended for use on bombers. Its trajectory was more curved, and after being installed on the T-88, its specific range is unknown, but it was likely to have a trajectory similar to the German L-24 105mm howitzer at the time, mainly used for direct fire. The turret of the T-88 could rotate 360 degrees, but the specific elevation and depression angles of the gun are unclear. The elevation angle may be good, but the depression angle may not be very effective. The armor of the entire vehicle was more vulnerable than the M18, with 13mm on the front and sides, and appropriately thickened to 25mm on the turret front. Similar to the M18, the self-propelled howitzer had very good mobility. The T-88 was equipped with a 350-horsepower Continental R975C1 engine, while the T-88E1 was equipped with a 460-horsepower Continental R975C4 engine, reaching a top speed of 80 km per hour, making it extremely fast on the battlefield. The T-88 and T-88E1 did not ultimately succeed, as they appeared too late in the war when the outcome was already predictable, seemingly making further research unnecessary. Additionally, the vehicle's defensive capabilities and other performance were weak, and it may not have been able to withstand even large-caliber machine gun fire.